Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to our Minecraft mod view with me. And today I'm covering a mod which, if you look back on my channel, is the first video I have that I haven't deleted, even though it's really bad. Uh, welcome to Dragon Block, uh, the Dragon Block C mod review, which yeah, I did this, uh, did a mod review in this years and years and years ago. I haven't fully covered it again. Like, I've done, like, I think one other, which was just covering, like, an update because something cool had come out. But yeah, I, like, I did this mod ages ago, didn't do it again. That video back there is really, really bad <laughs> because it was years ago. And the mod's come such a long way since then, and I've just never reviewed it again. And I do mod reviews quite often. So I thought, right, well, if, you know, the decade's about to end. We're about to enter a new decade, fresh thing and all that. Just any excuse, really. Yeah, I just to say, I just want to do this again. I want to review this properly and give it like my full thing and actually look through all this stuff. Plus, the mod has had more updates and stuff uh, in more like, the last few months and things. So, take a look at some of that stuff as well. Some of the stuff I haven't actually seen since I last played with the mod. So that's the thing. But anyway, yes, this is a Dragon Blood Z mod. It's an old mod. It's been out for years and years and years and years. It's come such a long way. Like it's it's had flaws throughout it here and there. But those flaws have been tracked down, eliminated, rebuilt, better things on top of them. It's come such a long way. <laughs> and it's a bloody good mod at this point. It possibly still has some flaws here and there. But even in a lot of things, if you don't like them, there's configs so you can change things. And a lot of the features are just made to make the experience more Dragon Ball-like. So generally all around, there's very few things I would could point out that says is bad about this mod. There's just lots and lots of really nice, really awesome things. <laughs> but right, anyway... Starting us off then, so this mod's got tons of different things in it, between um, powers and abilities, blocks, weapons, enemies, dimensions. It's got a lot of Dragon Ball things in it, and a lot of things you'd expect from Dragon Ball. But to start us off then, who are we? Let's start with our character. So, right now, we're not full size. Normally we'd be about two blocks high. We're, we're shorter now. Yeah, for whatever reason, you start off shorter because... Dragon Ball, you start Kid Goku, grew up, and but you can start smaller in this, or at least you could. By default, though, you end up like this. So, you can play the convict if you don't want to end up like this to start off with. But yeah, so, um, we're slightly different size. We'll get bigger as we grow and get stronger. No, that's all fine. But anyway, we want to start off our adventure, though. So, we want to decide who we are exactly. So, there's different factions, different species, different races, uh, in this mod. We've got the human, which is basically what we are now. We are human. Although we currently have no powers. Uh, there are, like, some default skin things here, which I... <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know whoever really uses these, but someone probably does somewhere. But anyway, yeah, there's that. So we've got human. Uh, with the human, we've also got all the different types of hairs. So, um, these are just the default hairs. But yeah, there's 12 of them in total. So if we go back to the very start, we've got Goku's hair. Sort of. We've got... Someone's hair. Uh, the... We've got what's kind of Vegeta's hair. We've got also kind of Vegeta's hair. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Some of these are kind of based sort of on characters. Some of them are like... They're kind of based, but they're like slightly better ones. This is sort of Teen Gohan. Also, I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, default hairs. Default hairs are for default if you like them. But most people don't use default hairs. It's just Android 17, basically. Uh, or trunks. I don't, I don't know. This is one of the things. Also, you can adjust the color. Uh, you can make it... We can't not with the hair 11. Hair 11 is your default hair, which is your under the hair you start with. But yeah, uh, you can change the color and stuff as well if you want to. But I generally go with red or black. Because, uh, I, well, I want it to really match the color I have underneath. But anyway, yes, yeah, so 11 is your default hair, whatever you start with. Uh, 12 is sort of redded. Then 13, or not 13, is custom hair. Custom hair. You can go to the, well, you can adjust it yourself if you want to. And play with all these sliders and bits and stuff to get yourself a hair you like. I currently have a hair on. What is this hair I've got? It's from the hair salon. Why go and bugger about with all this stuff yourself where you can have someone else do it for you? Jump to the hair salon, copy one you like, paste it in here, and badish you end up with the hair. This hair that I've picked out, it's one that's meant to be Yamcha's hair from, like, Dragon Ball. So, yeah. Uh, I, I just end up going with this one because this one looks quite nice. And that's the hair bit. So, um, moving on from there, though. Humans. We've got humans, obviously. We've got Saiyans, at which point you gain a tail, which, uh, the tail start default off is brown, because that's how Saiyan tails are, and that's, and that makes sense. Uh, but moving over from there, we've got half Saiyan. Half Saiyans don't have to have brown tails. We've never seen a half Saiyan with a different colored tail, but we don't question that. It doesn't matter. But anyway, yeah, you can change the color of the tail as well. So in this case, if I want to be half Saiyan, I can have a pure black tail to match the color of my hair. Because they're half Saiyans, why not? Sure. Uh, 
an interesting feature. It also plays into something else a bit later on. Uh, where are we going from there? We've got Namekian, which... Naked boy. You can adjust the colors of Namekian, though, because... You just can. <laughs> we don't question it, if you do want to have an albino Namekian, like joked, up in, uh, joked in Team Four Stars thing, you can do that. You can also essentially make yourself look like a completely different species if you want, but you can just be a Namekian of weird... A different Namekian. And then there's our codein, aka the freezer ice, which you can check out and look like the different forms for it. So you can see all the different forms that are available uh, for it for here. Because the color scheme, the color scheme sticks. So for example, all the white bits here, if I want to change them all to say black, that changes those bit to black. That'll have a different effect as you got the forms though, because once you get to that form, it, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it looks, it starts looking a bit different at that point. Um, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it, it's interesting. This, I, I think I prefer having the full body like that. And maybe just adjusting some of these bits to be different colors. That, that makes more sense. But yeah, anyway. Uh, so that's the different spe uh, species slash races and stuff. Oh my god. Uh, so, is that for this, the sake of this, I'm just going to go, uh, go half same. Go half same with a red till. There we go. So, right, next up, power type. We've got natural. That's default Minecraft stuff. You probably don't want that. We've got key, which is what you do want because you want to be doing Dragon Ball stuff. So, you want to have key. Uh, you get three different things from key. You've got martial artist, you've got spiritualist, and you've got warrior. Martial artist is a balance build. You get different stats and stuff that will apply for when you're fighting and things. Uh, spiritualist is more focused on key and energy. So, you'll have more stamina and things energy wise. And then warrior is more physical endurance and power based strength. So basically, if you want to be punching things, that's what you want to go for. So go martial arts for this. And then moving on from there, we can also pick the color of our aura. It'll default to white and then various colors depending on what you transform into. But um, in this case, I'll go red. And there we go. There's our character to start us off. So, oh dear. I've already picked up a very unique status that was quite rare and chancy and because it's been on the thing for a while. I just picked up the legendary status. We'll worry about that later. Right, anyway. Hold the C button. Badoosh. We can power up. Hold aura. Build the bow. There's a couple of different controls in this. Uh, we've got a scouter function control. We'll get to that in a bit. Uh, but yeah. Controls have got... We've got action menu. We've got um, power up, power down. Uh, we've got data sheet, which is what we opened there. We've got flight. We've got uh, release energy, which is the hold energy button, which I just showed there. Info panel, lock-ons, turbo system, story system. Story system. Let's look at that. That's not story system. That's the world edit system. Oh god, where are, yeah, get rid of that no, that's Yeah. Go away. But don't uh There we go. Uh so yeah, there's a story in this. You can play through the story. This is all different. This is changed by this is updated. This looks quite cool. Uh but yeah, yes, so you can click start next 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 and it'll take you through a story of Dragon Block. It starts with killing Cyberman, it starts with Radids as kind of a boss thing, and it goes all the way up to Super Boot, and you fight against various people along the way, and it's quite cool. Uh, there's no side missions anymore. These are the Simon one that got erased ages ago. There's skills, super form, C, M. What is C? C is your well, it's basically the number of points you've got. It is your a TP here? Yeah, I don't know why it's called C there and TP in here. But let's not worry about that. There's the training points we currently have. So I've got a thousand on my character right now, so I could use that thousand and upgrade my stats and stuff I wanted. I could unlock skills. We can learn more skills off of various teachers. You need to find those teachers. Where are those teachers? We'll find those in a second. There's key techniques. You can create your own key techniques, which is also quite interesting. And there's various different ones, like blast, disc, laser, spiral, large blast, and yeah, different names. You can adjust the speeds, adjust the damages, adjust the effects if it explodes, adjust the color. <laughs> All of it costing you points as well. So basically, you want to be getting points in this game. And uh, yeah, you can get points by punching stuff. Just punch things to death and badoosh, you'll get points. For example, now that we've got our energy unlocked at 35% of our total power, which, by the way, max it when you start off, it only goes up to 50%. But yeah, now we can punch things. We can one-shot the sheep. Easy easy. Punch it a lot, punch more things a lot, and you'll unlock more TP. Obviously, take a while. Here we've got stats, strength, dexterity, constitution, willpower, mind, and spirit. Uh, strength increases melee damage. Dexterity increases your defense and natural speed. Constitution increases your, basically, your body's health, stamina, sort of thing. Uh, willpower increases your maximum uh, key power, so basically your energy blast will do more damage. Mind, you need that so you can increase your amount of, well, you can increase the amount of TP you gain per certain hits against the shadow of uh, training dummy things, uh, but also increase the number of skills you can hold, because right now, we've got one skill. We have 10 points in mind, so 10 points available. To unlock a point in super farm, we need to use five main points. Like that. 
Then the next level costs even more. So, yeah, you're going to need a lot more mind as well. Then Spirit is your full up key. Obviously, you've got to increase these stats depending on the type of build you want. The natural limit of them is like, what, 10,000, 100,000? It's insanely high limits. It, you can adjust the limits low in the config, and you can go over the limits using the config as well. So, yeah, there's that. We've got an alignment. We're good currently, because we've been a good person. If we kill good people, though, we'll become a bad person. And our aura will change slightly if we were in default, but it's not, so now it's just going to be red. So, yeah, there's that. And then we've got all these stats here telling us how our, thing, uh, how our character basically is in terms of max power and stuff. Difficulty. This is interesting. The higher difficulty, the more tra uh, training points you get, basically. So every time I punch something, there's a 20% chance or a 1 in 5 chance I'll get a point. Okay. If I go to hard, there's a 25% chance or a 1 in 4 chance. If I go to insane, there's a 30% chance of what, or 3 out of 10 chance or almost 1 in 3 chance of every punch I'll gain a point. Although, when you die in hard and insane mode, you lose points out of your stats. So basically, if I died in insane mode, I could lose a point out of spirit and willpower. So that would be very good. So, right. That's that stuff. Masters, structures, things. We're currently in creative mode. Let's go over here. So the first structure you probably... Well, this structure is always in the same place. It's always in the same coordinates. And yeah. We've got Kami's Lookout and Corn's Tower. So getting up to Corn's Tower is a lot easier than getting up to Kami's. Corn's Tower, you can literally just climb the fecking thing because the walls are sticky. Or, well, you know, they're not sticky. You're just really good at climbing, obviously. So basically, you climb up here and you go say hello to Corn. And Corn's likely going to be the first mass you bump into unless you get lucky and spot and get one of the other structures, which is completely random. You can't really predict where the other structures are going to be. Well, you can. They're in biomes. They're in Pacific biomes. But, you know, you need to look for them. But anyway, Corn. From Corn, you get a flying Nimbus. If you're good. If you're bad, you get one of the bad Nimbuses and you can fly on that. Because uh, you obviously can't fly in the flying Nimbus. Well, thingy. Uh, you can't find a find Nimbus where you're a bad person. Also, if you throw your Nimbus in your inventory, you can get another one. If you, like, lose it or something. So you can always get more Nimbuses. Every day you can get a Sensor Bean from Corrin. Sensor Beans, as you do in the show, restore your health and stamina. So, and your key. So that's really handy. And then from also Corrin, we can learn some basic skills. The Jump Skill and the Fly Skill. Awesome! We would like the Fly Skill, please. With that, if I go into Survival Mode, I can now jump, press F, and now I can fly. And it also drain my keys as I do that. And now with that skill, we can now fly up here and fly up to, um, Kami's look at if we fancy it. Obviously, there's a bunch more skills, and there's a bunch more masters, a bunch of which we've just found. Around, uh, things like this, though, there's naturally a safe zone. Anytime you're around a master. You can turn it off in the config, but if there's a safe zone in place, unless you're in creative mode, slash, an op, then you won't be able to break stuff, basically. So, um, yeah, because it's a safe zone, I can't break the start here. And it means other people can't just come up here and say, live in Kami's lookout. So, that's good if you're on a server, depending on what you're into. Hey, we're gonna go back and create a bot though, because we would like to adjust things. So right, up here, there is Masters. There's several of them. We've got Piccolo here. Piccolo's cool. He'll learn you more techniques, including key techniques. We've got his own personal techniques, like the Maka Seb... I can't say that word. He knows the destructive disc. Key blast in the Masenko. Cool. He also can learn skills. We can learn potential lock, meditation, key skill, uh, sense. Key protection and key fist. Potential lock lets you increase yourself up to 100% of your full power. Meditation helps with charging energy. Key sense lets you sense others around you. Key protection means you can apply key to defend yourself. Key fist means you can apply key to punch things harder. Those two aren't very good, though. But let's say we want key sense. Well, there's no main left, so we can't do that right now. But it's fine. We'll look at the skills properly a little bit later on. For now, though, I set up some things on Kami's lookout. I'm sure Kami won't mind. I mean, he's sort of... Yeah, he's over there. I'm sure he won't mind. <laughs> but yeah, Kami's quite important, though. If, let's say, you don't like what you are in Dragon Ball. Let's say you're a Saiyan, you want to be an Arcosian, because you want to try out the Freezer race. Fair enough. In that case, you can start anew with Kami, and he'll let you start from the beginning again, and you can reset your character and do all the stuff again. He also can teach you more of the basic skills, including your yeah, key sense meditation. Endurance, which is, I think, increases your natural defense. I don't know. Also, the ones Korn had and potential knocks. So, there's that. You can also cut off your tail if you're a Saiyan, because you might not want to have your tail for whatever reason. Don't know why, but maybe you don't. Maybe you don't want to turn into a giant monkey in the film and get to that later. Right, as I said, Dragon Block has many different weird things in it, including lots of blocks. Here are some of those blocks. This is most of those blocks, actually. Uh, there's different ores and stuff floating around. There are different blocks. Some of them are, are craftable, some of them are not. These ones, for example, are not craftable because they're literally indestructible. Um, and it's what the lookout's made out of. So obviously you don't want people getting your hands on this and blocking everything. They've got things like this here. The Scion Mahogany Paper Wall. It's made from a mahogany wall. Uh, or mahogany wood, sorry, which you get from trees and stuff. And then there's more, there's more different darts and stuff here. We've got healing moss here. We've got Namekian soil, Namekian wood. Here we've got other 
types of wood from other types of trees. There we've got dragon bills. We'll find those floating around the place and we'll get to those in a second. The trees! There are a couple of those. We've got this one, which is the maple tree. There we go. I don't remember it. Here we've got the mahogany tree, which I'm guessing was mainly added in because of Team Four Star, which, yeah, brilliant. And then over here we've got the sakura tree, which, yeah, pretty. And then we've got the Namekian tree, which is the Ajisa sapling or something like that. Anyway, getting rid of this stuff really quick. So yeah, these trees, you find them, you can cut them down, you can create tools out of them, you can uh, use them to create uh, different blocks and stuff that you want to put around the place. So yeah, there's that. Moving on from there, we've got different outfits in this mod. Quite a few, actually. This mod has so many outfits in it now. When I first looked at this mod, it had up to about here-ish, maybe, with some of these ones cut out. So I um, mean, yeah, it had some uh, just various ones, uh, various types of saint armor. Which you could probably guess who's who's from that one. Let's that one looks like Bardox. But it doesn't say it's Bardox. This one just says battle armor. And it's just made using the default battle armor. Which is this stuff here. Which is used making these Wernit crystals. We'll get to those in a second. Rinny. Rinny? I can't pronounce. Whatever. It's made just from them. Default armor creates default other armors using their various colors and stuff. Um, also then, yeah, you get the more basic uh, battle clothes and stuff made from Will. And you get various outfits from that. But then after that, he added in a ton more. <laughs> Creator added in tons, tons more, and more of just kept getting added in as time as went. So, um, we're going to get all the various characters from Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Super, being the more latest ones. Uh, so, yeah, you got, like, yeah, those, like, say, Majin Buu's one here. And you can't craft them, though. You can repair them using will, but you can't craft them. Uh, armors like this, you normally get from either spawning in, or in some cases, you can get them from, uh, I think... Defeating the character. So, for example, later on when you fight Majin Buu, there's a chance he might drop his outfit. There's the same as like when you fight Android 20 later on in the story. There's a chance Android 20 might drop his clothes. You can just keep fighting him until he drops all his clothes if you really want to be like that. But then some of the more unique outfits, there's not really much ways of getting them. I'm mostly spawning them in. That tends to be easiest way. But yeah, there's tons of clothes though. So it, if you, you know, there's like a shop system in place and stuff. There's tons of variation of clothes and things you can dress up and armor you can dress up. With some of the latest ones being like from the Broly movie. Uh, these ones here. But yeah, there's like a shop system in place on whatever server you're on or whatever, or if you just spawn them in. You can you can look your best forever fight you're doing. Great stuff. But anyway, so that's the clothes. I could obviously, you could spend an entire video just talking about the clothes, but we won't do that. We'll look at some of their stuff. So right, we showed the Nimbus Cloud. Here's the evil Nimbus Cloud. But douche. We're currently good though, so like, yeah, we're, we're not really, we're not able to really hide this. It'll kick us off. Um, Luckily, it won't fall through it. But yeah, it's it's not too pleased with us being there. So there's that. Uh, there's the Wernier Crystals. You get them from ore that just spreads throughout the world. Because like like finding iron, you'll find it everywhere. And you can use that to craft various things. We've got sensor beans. We've got Cybermen seeds. Cybermen. You kill Cybermen, you can get their seeds. Unfortunately, we're in a safe zone though, so enemies can't be here. But yeah, uh, you can get Cybermen pretty much all over the... Uh, not over the place, but you can beat them in the story. And then you can essentially get their seeds. Then you can just spawn more. And blah, 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 blah. Anyway, uh, there's also dinosaur meat. You can find dinosaurs floating around. We'll see them in a little bit. Once you kill them, you can then uh, cook their meat and get even more stuff. So dino meat will replenish 500 calories and 10% key. Both of them say that. The cooked meat definitely gives you more. So I don't know why they both say that. So that's quite odd. Anyway, um, from there we've got wild medical moss and the medical moss that you get. So that's basically this stuff over here. Uh, if you break this stuff normally, well, not in creative modes. You can't break it because it's in that. Okay, never mind. Uh, you get the stuff. You get the green bits there that I just showed, though. Da -ba. I can't open this because it's the safe zone. Hold on. <laughs> Creative mode again. But ah. Oh dear. Yeah, that wasn't very smart. But yeah, if you wonder what the inside of Kami's lookout looks like, there you go. Um, it's it's just a big empty bit. Uh, if you fancy doing stuff in there, obviously you have to get the safe zones done. But yeah, that wasn't very smart. Probably shouldn't have done that. But no matter. One of those things. <laughs> Accidentally slip with the, the strong hand. But anyway, um, moving on from uh, the moss stuff. Yeah, you can take some of that moss stuff and you can put it in a bucket and that'll create healing water. Which you find in particular places. But basically this water will just essentially heal you. Uh, it's, it just restores your stats essentially. It's good for chilling in if you have a lot of energy and you want to quickly recover. Or if you can make a pill of it and train in it. Because that would then restore you as you go. Uh, and now we've got some music discs. I, as far as I know, you just spawn those in. They have Dragon Ball songs on them. All right. Uh, we've got. Blah, 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 blah. If you don't like your hairstyle, we've got the Barbell Sizzles and Comb. This was a thing that was so cool because when you started off, 
uh, you picked your hairstyle. That was it. Then you had to start anew if you wanted your hair to change. Not anymore. You can use the barber scissors. And it's just two irons. And, blah, blah, and yeah, it lets you change your hair. So if you don't want to have... Why is it default hair? Custom hair, please. But do uh, Now, yeah, if you want to have your uh, different custom hair and stuff, you can now do that using the scissors. It's really cheap to make. So cool. Uh, using the crystals, we can create a couple of different things. We can create chips. Chips made from three of them. Some character screen. Some materials there. Gets you chips. Then you can make tier two chips, which is using three of those tier one chips along with lapis and glowstone. Then using three, uh, sorry, two of the two one, uh, tier two chips and one tier one chip and diamonds and lapis, you can make tier three chips. What do these chips make? Machinery and things. There's a bunch of different machinery things. One of the things being the dragon radar. Using tier one chips, the crystal and some iron, you make the dragon radar. The weirdly stacks in 50s. Dragon radar used to be quite annoying because it used to pretty much lag your screen out and stuff. It was quite bad essentially then it got remade like this it's bloody brilliant and yeah you can just it basically you can carry it as you wander about you can just pick up your face whenever you want it's bloody good and as you can see that it's marking and glowing and yeah it's basically just showing hey there's dragon balls over there if we were to take a dragon ball from say not those chests <laughs> we'll get to that stuff we'll get to that stuff right uh yeah if we put a dragon ball over here we look at it it will mark up oh there's another dragon ball so yeah this thing's so well made it's so good it's so handy, obviously, for tracking the Dragon Balls, as it should be. It's a Dragon Raider. But yeah, it's so good. Uh, but yeah, moving on from the Dragon Raider, we've also got the Space Pod. You get one of these naturally as you progress the story. And it can be crafted. Oh, it used to have a crafting recipe. That's odd. They took it away. I didn't realize that. But yeah, uh, the Space Pods, which you use to get around the place. Oh, that's why it's the wrong Space Pod. Um. <laughs> um. Why? Okay, this is the prop space pod. Oh, but it still works. I forgot they added this thing. Yeah, it's a prop one that, like, just chills. Like, you can, yeah. This is what the space pod looks like, by the way. Um, typically, the space pod, if you put it up, it'll fall. It will, like, break and fall down. Because it doesn't, unless you change it by default. But, yeah, there's, there's one that could... <laughs> Very odd. But, yeah, there's one like that. The different codes there tell you the thing you need to know. Yeah, that's a space pod. Can this space pod be crafted? Can we check. Can we check and see? Da -ba. Like that. Uh, yes. Yes, it can. It can be made using a tier two chip and a bunch of uh, crystals. So yeah, quite easy to make. I, I knew it could be made. Yeah, it's the prop one can't be made for some reason. But yeah, moving on from that, we've got the uh, gravity machine. So this is obviously for training. Get gravity on. Your training's more effective. You punch things, you're more likely to get a point. For that, you're going to need Kachin Shards, Tier 3 Chips, and Iron. Kachin Shards, the hardest known metal in the universe. Where do you get that from? The Dragon Bulls. Only Shinron can give you that, as far as I know. So, we'll need to speak to dragons for that, which I guess we'll do in a little bit. Also, we've got Scourers. Scourers come in various different colours. Uh, so, like, you pretty much take your pick. Basically, replace that bit there with whatever colour you want. And you'll pretty much get, um, various different Scourers. So, yeah, there's, like, yeah, yellow, red, blah, 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 blah. All different ones. Anyway, we've got tier one scouts. They'll track power levels up to like twenty odd thousand. Going above that though, if you got against a power level that's even higher than that, it'll break because that's what scouts do. Tier one crappy scouts break if too high a power is near. Tier two scouts uh, can check higher level powers, but only up to like I don't know, getting you freeze those sort of levels. Then it sort of starts breaking. So that's using tier two chips around that. Then you get the tier three ones. Those don't break. Those just well, they do break if you get punched a lot, but they don't break due to power level readings. So you use tier three chips and a two, level two scouter. And you get the TRC scouter. You can also put the scouters on. Uh, so. I do. Now, you think, alright, you just put it on your head. No, it doesn't go there. If you click Control and E, it'll open up an extra menu bit here. Where you've got a uh, head, body, weight, and all these new slots that were just added in in more recent updates. But if we put it on head, though, I do. We've now got a scouter. And as it said earlier, clicking F4, and it comes up various things. So you can now, it's tracking a power level. So it says there's a power level 268 in that direction. Uh, the closest known power level, 1,750. That's probably... Might be Kami. But let's move away from Kami. Let's go look at one of the other guys. Vegeta and uh, Trunks are both on here. There we go. We've just found Trunks. Trunks' battle power is 140,000. Let's say we want to check Trunks' power level with a tier 1 scouter, though. Badoo. And he just exploded instantly. Because Trunks is too strong. He can't reach his power level. Makes sense. Also, a curiosity. Vegeta's power level is 175,000. There we go. That's just obviously them sitting in base. Obviously, they're much stronger normally. They were actually trying, but yeah, that's... Scouts are cool. 
They're kill if you don't have energy sensing, scouters are good methods for well, tracking things down. Even if you do have energy sensing, they give you a number to look at, which can be quite fun if you want to compare power levels. Not that power levels are important, obviously it's about technique and blah, 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 all that jazz. But uh, anyway, let's say we want to get things like Kachin shards now. We may want to go speak to Shinron. So, we could gather the Dragon Balls. Gather seven Dragon Balls. You've got both the regular and the Namekian variations, because Namek's a thing. And, uh, yeah, you can summon the dragon. So, basically, shape them like this. I... Can you shape them like this? Oh, we'll find it in a second. But, yeah, uh, shape them like this. Right-click the dragon balls. Shinron! Shinron used to be looks so crap. He looks so good like this. He looks like Shinron. It's great. But, anyway, um, things we've got from Shinron. We can get diamonds. We can get crystals. We can get tier 1 chips. We can get sensor beans. A Kachin shard. Revive a player. If a player dies, you can have it set. Um, in the config that players can't come back without using wishes or, uh, you know, thingy. Uh, also, uh, they don't get things so you can mash revive all good players so you can revive all the good people. Change the color of your aura. Revive and bring a player here. Reset our cozy ultimate colors. That's an option. Five Janemba essence. One small club. A power pull. Yeah, there's a bunch of different wishes for Shinron. I just exited out and didn't wish for one. I just said to Shinron, don't even bother, mate. Probably shouldn't have done that. But yeah, Shinron gives you tons of different stuff because it's Shinron, you know? That's what he does. Uh, Different, a bunch of options. Some of those options are quite new, though. Uh, some of them I hadn't seen before, like revive all players. That was that's a newer option. I don't remember that. But anyway, as you can see, though, seven Dragon Balls gathered doesn't work. Yeah, you need to have the Dragon Balls basic match shape like this, and it will start making a noise, and it can work. Hey, anyway, now we want Parunga. Here's the big boy Parunga. He's trying to turn the world to night. Ten bits giving us night vision as well. But anyway, so from Parunga we get the Evil Spear. Uh, we can also do pretty much all the exact same stuff as before, but you don't get in the oil ball, the power pull. So, but yeah, everything else the same. But you can get, yeah, the evil spear. Also, oh yeah, Karangas get two wishes. So let's say we want that. Let's say we also want a small club. Let's say we also want five Janemba Essence. We can have all these things. Now we've got an evil spear, which I think is the Boros spear. Cool. That's just a cool weapon you can have. Dragons, they've got they've got their uses. Especially if you're playing in a world where you have to revive players, which can be a fun lot to play by. Yay! Moving on from there. Weapons and stuff. There are a few of those. We've got the Katana. We've got the Brave Storm. We've got the Z-Sword. Those are crafted using various things. Uh, the Brave Sword and the Z-Sword require Kachindo. Um, and they just require the various bits. And yeah, that makes the Katana, which is 14 damage. The Brave Sword, which is 19 damage. And the Z-Sword, which is 24 damage. Uh, using the Small Club and Janemba Essence, you can make the Dimension Sword, aka Janem Janemba Sword, which... Yeah, looks... Well, it's cool. Uh, and there's the evil one. And I've got the Power Pull. Which, uh, yeah, functions as a weapon, but also you can do this. It'll got, like, I don't know how far, but it'll got pretty far. I, yeah, and then you can just, you can climb up if you want. It acts the exact same as what Corn's Tower does. So you can technically make the power pole. Or, sorry, uh, grab the power pole. Then you can just climb up it and chill up on top of it and stuff if you want. It's, it's a cool weapon. I like the power pole. It's, it's a nifty little thing. And, uh, from there, we've also got a bunch of various metals and armors and junk. And does anyone ever use these? I've never have. I, yeah, I'm guilty of never using this stuff. Uh, most of it is just general bits and pieces. But yeah, you get various other tools now if you did want them. If for some reason you were looking for those tools. So, there's that stuff. Moving on from there, we've then got the last few things. So this is newer stuff. This stuff was just mostly added in. Apart from these bits, alright. These bits have been in for ages. So this is the weights. Uh, you can get these from various people. The turtle shell from Master Roshi. The t-shirt from, um, blah, blah, blah. From uh, Kami, I think from King Kai as well. You can get the arms and legs from King Kai, and you can get the cape from Piccolo. These go in the body slot. No, they don't. They go in the weight slot, sorry. Um, ah. So yeah, basically you can wear these if you want to, and you can have various weights put on them. So for example, we'll speak to Kami for a quick second, ask for weight. You can have the weight go up to 5,000, at which point you didn't have a hella really heavy training weight. And now, I can't really move because I'm wearing a really heavy t-shirt. <laughs> But it does mean that you'll gain training points a bit quicker. The max uh, training point percentage you can get, by the way, if you go in the same mode with the highest weight on, is a 45% chance per punch of gaining a TP point. So, there's that. Anyway, so, that's that stuff. Cool. That's nifty stuff. But moving on from there, we've also got the body suits, which are quite nice. Body suits are made using uh, the thingy fabric, which is made using the crystals and wool. And then it's used using wool. And this, uh, this stuff can all be coloured however you like it. It goes in the body slot. And, yeah, basically, it just creates a bodysuit, which you can have as various colors if you want to. So, yeah, basically, just take a crafting bench, take the color you want with the thing you want, ba -ba -da -ba -da, surround it in that color, and you'll get it whatever color you like. And then, again, just replace it out on the bodysuit. So, let's say you want a pink bodysuit thing. 
Badoosh, you can have that. Or if you say you want a black one, like uh, most Saiyans have as their Under Armour stuff. Badoosh, you can have that. Now, this this just acts as a little bit of armor. It does break. It does have durability. It's not good, very much durability, so it will break. Uh, there is commands that have to fix it. Uh, there is ways of just repairing it, I think. Is there? Possibly not. Uh, there's a command for fixing it, though, which you can do for free. Uh, so, yeah, there's all this stuff, which... I guess made you in this fabric. Then we've got the newer fabric and the newer stuff. And this stuff wasn't in last time I played the game. We've got the extras, the vanity items. So these are extra little bits that go on your body. You can use strong fabric for it, which is three of the crystals and six wool. Gives you four of it. And it gives you lots of different things. And this is all fairly new. So if we grab all this really quick. Uh, yeah. So this can all get worn on top of what you already have. But essentially you can take like this jacket. You can put it in any of these eight slots. Uh, the slots do sort of matter to an extent, but yeah, basically all we could put a uh, jacket on if we want. You can also take said uh, items to so say you want these pants, you want them in blue. Uh, you can just surround them and it does the exact same as all other ones. You can do it, color all these however you like. Uh, but yeah, you can put that on and position now we've got blue pants on. Now, also to note though, if we take say do, 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 this half one here, we'll dye it black. Then say we want to put this on. You can put it on this layer here. It will layer over the top of this jacket because that layer apparently is more important. Like, so this layer is like the higher layer than this one. So if you, if you switch them around, this jacket just completely covers that t-shirt. So depending what side you put it on, uh, things can layer on top of things to give you a cool uh, look. We've also got a belt, which you can't really see because well, I've got a thing on. Uh, it's a belt. It looks like a belt. You could color it if you like. We've got a head. Well, we've got wristbands for one. Cool. Uh, we've got uh, other little wristbands. Smaller, slightly wristbands. We've got headbands. Where's the headband? There's one headband. This is a thin, skinny headband, which gives you a little white headband. Let's go. There it is. Better headband. Badoosh. I like this headband. You color it every color you want. Go put it red or whatever, like Bardock. You can have a red, Bardock red uh, headband. We've got a jacket, which you can go over the top. It's. I don't know, Trunks' jacket. The... Yeah, it doesn't really suit me. I look like somebody's about to go and, like, cook it. Cook or something. It looked like one of those cooks or something that you see with the headband and the little jackets and stuff. On. But anyway, yeah, these are cute, really cool fanny items. I love these things. This is, again, just letting you be creative, letting you dress up however you like. There's also four items, though. So these don't get coloured. Uh, these come. So obviously, two of them you might recognise from the Broly movie. Because, uh, yeah, it's essentially Goku and Vegeta's um, jackets from the Broly movie. Nice little extra bits in there. It's cool. That is fanny items. So they go on top of armour as well. We've also got two extras, though. We've got the Creeper hoodie, which. It's a hoodie. <laughs> it's got a creeper on the back of it. it. Yeah, okay, that's an extra little Minecraft thing. And then we've got an Enderman variation hoodie, which, yeah, you, lets you wear Enderman eyes and stuff on your heads. Uh, again, just nice little extra things in here uh, added into the game. I quite like them. But right, so that's it for the items and stuff. So moving on from there, techniques, stats, things like that. Well, we looked at the stats. Let's go for techniques and stuff. Right, so I was just going to give myself loads of points and stats and stuff and show off that things, but I think I might as well show this off as well. There are commands in this game. Uh, there's slash dragon block C with various commands from there. There's also slash another one, but for slash dragon block C, there is one command in particular. Locations. That shows you the locations of all the known structures you found. So that's a really useful the command if you're unsure about where something is and you want to go find it. So you've got Babidi's ship, Goku's house, Celerina, Kami house, Corrin tower. And then if you go to Namek, there's uh, Freezer ship. But if you do slash GRMC, uh, there's various commands from here. You've got uh, TP, experience, but there's a bunch of ones that you might want to check, you might not want to check. Some useful ones though. TP, really, really useful one. Let's you give yourself TP. So let's say you want to give ourselves 100,000 TP. Just like that. We now have 100,870 TP. So now we get tons of TP if we fancy it. Cool. Let's say we want something else though. Let's go for um, heal. That'll heal you. Uh, back up with full health. There is also uh, repair. That'll repair all your equipment. So if your equipment is damaged, you can use that. You can use that pretty much whenever. You don't have to be opt to use that command. You can just use it whenever. So that's quite useful. There's also our cues. That basically lets you, if you put in a player name, you can check their cues. You can check and see how many things they've killed, where it'd be good or bad, and if they're a good or bad person. So basically, you're just checking the personal records to see what they've been up to. Uh, so there's that. Yeah, there's a bunch of really useful little commands in here. You can just you can just use it. <laughs> I don't know, like, I don't know why some of them are available to everyone, but there are. Like, for example, is the slash, uh, Dragon Book C, is it someone? No? 
Yes, yeah, so Dragon Galaxy. Dragon Galaxy spawn, there it is. You can spawn in things as well, as long as you know how to spell their name. Uh, you can spawn things in. So, oh, God. You know, I'm not even going to attempt it. Actually, no, I will attempt this one. You can go Dino 1. You can spawn Dino 1. It's not Dino 1, is it Dino 0 1? There we go. Um, we did the slash spawn command. You can pretty much spawn in anything from Dragon Block mods. Anyone can use this. You don't have to be op. It's really weird why this is available to non-ops. Unless they've changed it recently. But yeah, uh, that's the kind of stuff. Also the slash... Ah, here it is. Slash GRMCA. I knew it was something along those lines. Uh, you can then set. And you can set your skills. So slash set all. Let's say... Uh, 500. And with that, I've now just set all my skills to 500. Which is now... That's the default max uh, for... This, unless you adjust it in the convicts. So, there we go. We've reached our limit. We're now at our max strength. We now have max uh, mine points to, to uh, spend and things like that. So, now we can go and we can buy all the skills and stuff if we want to, which... It, most of the skills, is not, like, there's nothing really to show off with them. Potential unlocks one that, like, lets you increase your potential further. So, say, if you want to, you can now uh, power up. Also, when charging, this is a cool thing as well. There's something called turbo mode. Tur oh, yeah. Also, because I've increased my constitution, I'm now full-sized again. Yay! Hey, there's turbo mode as well. Clicking R, you activate turbo mode, that means your aura is just flexing everywhere. So if you, you can have a bigger aura than someone, you could show off. Or it lets you charge and move and fight quicker. Basically, you move uh, fight quicker and you charge your energy much quicker when in turbo mode. So that's handy. Uh, so yeah, but yeah, we're, never, we're notably moving a lot quicker because our dexterity's up like a bunch. It Yeah, our stats are massive now. But right, so we've got all these points, all these things we can do. Let's take a look at some stuff. Key blasts. We want to make one. Let's make an average one. Let's make a basic one. Badoosh. Incartations. You can pick the noises and stuff. In this case, though, we'll just pick the blast with average speeds. And, you know, we'll make it explode. Why not? That'll cost us 200 points. All right, I'll accept that. Badoosh. There's our stat. There's our uh, thing showing up. Then we can launch key blasts. So you click the middle mouse button. That'll rotate around. You'd have to click control and right click. And badoosh. And we can't do that here because it's a safe time. Damn. Uh, yeah, basically, uh, you have to click control and then right click, and that'll let you launch key blasts and stuff. Cool. Pressing X, maybe you also get the action menu. That lets you, for example, move your tail around. Cool. That lets you put on simple flight. That means flying. Like, for now, if you fly, you, you pick the direction you want to go by using the general Minecraft controls. If you click simple flight, it makes it so when you fly, you just fly wherever way you're looking. So kind of like when you steer a boat, I suppose. So I, if it depends what you like. There's also more options. A uh, friendly face makes it so you don't kill people when you pinch them. Uh, so basically, if you're if you're just wanting to spar, you can knock the person down rather than kill them. Which is very handy rather than risking killing your friend when you want to have a friendly match. So there's that. Uh, also, you can learn t uh, t oh, key techniques from different people here. So for example, everybody's just learned to come half from trunks. That'll put up four more slots. You can learn four techniques. You can learn four of your own and four from other people. In this case, the Kamiha. And it'll use the sound for it. But then it'll disappear because we're in an area and it has to kill down again. Alright, that's a thing. Let's say we take that. Let's also take from Vegeta really quick. Learn skill, not skill. Learn technique. We also want the power ball. We also want none of those. Um, Big bang attack. We'll take that. Right, let's go into somewhere we can shoot techniques. Let's go into the hyperbolic time chamber. That's another dimension. A uh, hyperbolic time chamber has 10 times normal gravity. It shows here that, well, it says 9. But basically, you get extra weight on you. Because of that, uh, when we punch things, there's now a slightly higher chance we're going to gain things through it. But it's a very small chance. Like, it's not even an extra 1%, so it's not actually that helpful. But yeah, a uh, hyperbolic time chamber. Looks really cool. In here, Kamehameha. we can shoot things. Kamehameha. Like the Kamehameha. Because we're really strong, it's really massive. Same with this thing. The higher we charge up, which way you can overcharge things as well. Yeah, you can shoot it and badoosh. make it bigger, bigger explosion, all that stuff. But yeah, that's about time chamber. It's a nifty place if you want to get like do a bit of training and stuff, and you're strong enough to uh, chill in here. But yeah, it's also just a nice private dimension, just it's empty and just flat to train in. Nice. Uh, speaking of dimensions, though, let's go check some out really quick. Where's my space pod? Uh, I put it in one of your chests. There it is. So let's grab our space pod. It is this one? Uh, let's quickly check the other dimensions while we're, uh, actually, no, let's not check the dimensions yet. Let's quickly go check the other structures. So, right, we've shown Kami Luka, we've shown our Corn Star. Let's go to the other ones really quick. We've also got Babidi. Babidi spaceship. It, uh, yeah, it spawns in this plains biome. You go down it. There's no fights or anything. Babidi's just chilling at the bottom, basically at bedrock level. 
Not bedrock level. He's got a bedrock here. Just it's no, it's bedrock level. It's close enough to bedrock level. Um, just above bedrock level. You got Babidi here. Babidi won't like you because you're good. But you can subjugate yourself to him. But you know, what? I'll do it right now because now I get margin uh, mode, which you can't see because my my headbands. <laughs> you can hide that you're evil. Uh, that's the wrong. Wait, what? And oh, no, I can't see now because of my my freaking hair. Oh. You can sort of see it. Uh, because when you come margin, it actually increases your stats even further. But because my stats are so high, I can't. No, what's the difference? Hold on, if I go that down to 400, which I know because what? The margin thing gives you an extra 20% onto your strength, dexterity, and willpower, which is pretty good. Uh, it also makes you pure evil. So now we've got red affinity, and we're now a bad, bad guy. And now Babadio teaches techniques and stuff because we're a bad guy. All right, moving on from there, though, we've also got um, Goku's house. Badoosh. Goku has a unique technique as well, but he, I'm evil right now, so I can't. Alright, so there, just by using the command uh, slash DRMC set alignment 100, uh, that lets you basically uh, change your alignment to whatever you need to between 0 and 100. But anyway, uh, yeah, between the Goku, though, he's got a uh, unique skill, uh, Fusion. So if you want to learn Fusion, you can learn that. It has to be enabled in the config, though, and obviously you need two players in order to use it. So there's that. Moving on from there, we've got the uh, Roshi's Island. Roshi can get the Shuttle Tail, uh, Turtle Shell from. <laughs> And you can learn uh, the Kamehameha and stuff from, which you could also learn from Goku if you wanted, so bleh. Uh, then we've got... Ba -da -ba -da. The Cell Arena! Cell's here! You can chill out with Cell, but you need to be a bad guy, otherwise I don't want to speak to you. He'll teach you basically various techniques that Piccolo, Vegeta and stuff can learn, because he knows all their techniques. So, cool. Anyway, moving on from there, we go back to the lookout, we jump in our space pod, and we go in. Then you right-click on the control pad here, and you click on, or sorry, on, so it's on now. Then you have to click OK into destination, then select to select where you want to go. Let's go to Planet Vegeta. Planet Vegeta. It's a planet. The uh, material that, that's used in it has been changed. This used to look very different. Saiyans will spawn here. They're kind of violent buggers, and they can be worth training. But there's nothing else really here other than, like, blood, water everywhere. But, yeah, there's nothing else really here worth doing unless you just want to come here and train. But, uh, back in here, though. Next place want to go, Namek. Namek is worth visiting. Namek has Namekian Dragon Balls. Namek has dinosaurs freaking everywhere. Namek is a hot spot for dinosaurs for a reason. The uh, soil in that's been changed. It used to look a lot different. It's changed now. You also find the moss everywhere as well. Right, moving on from there though, we've got the ship, which is Frieza's. Frieza's ship roughly spawns where the lookout is, by the way. Like, place to place. It's, it's kind of close-ish, sort of. But anyway, um, Frieza needs to be bad, or otherwise he doesn't want to speak to you. In Freezer's ship, you can find helipods, which have really cool doors. You can just chill in here and heal if you want. That's cool. And then moving on from there, we've also got Namekian villages that spawn here, along with Namekian trees. You'll find Nam uh, Namekians are in the place. If you kill them, you become more evil aligned because they're, you know, good guys and you're murdering them brutally for no reason. They have little houses and stuff. There's no real extra to them other than the fact they will fight back because they can fight. They've got key techniques and stuff. They will fight back. Um... But yeah, you can become more evil line if you want to kill them, though. So, that's the thing. But yeah, that's it for dimensions and the places you can go. But anyway, if we go back to Earth now, we'll be... Should be... Yeah, closest to Hakami's lookout again. Also, if you want to fly quicker, you can use turbo mode to fly. And there's a flight animation, which... Yeah, it's quite cool. There's also a block animation as well, if you want to say block and stuff. So that's the thing. Oh, God, I've died. That's terrible. Wait, what? No, this is terrible. Why am I not in the afterlife? <laughs> oh, it's uh, because it was in creative mode and I died. Um, I didn't go to the afterlife. See, so, yeah, if you're in creative mode, you don't go to the afterlife. Uh, but yeah, you get a halo above your head when you die. And you end up here. King Yama's place. Uh, you can talk to him to get revived, which by default is free, but you have to wait like five minutes. Or you can reincarnate and lose like all your stats. Or you can go past him and go to Snake Way, which... It's a thing. Also, if you go down here, which maybe all oh, this has changed too. Uh, hell used to look like a barren wasteland. Now it's sacred trees and stuff in it. It's odd. Uh, but yeah, this looks different too. All the clouds and textures and stuff have been redone, which is quite cool. But anyway, let's say we do want to go to Snake Way, which hasn't loaded. What the buggery is this? Oh no. Okay, Snake Way appears to be gone. <laughs> Uh, all right, I'm gonna quickly go look for it slash King Kai in general. I'll be, I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I, I just flew for ages and I got to bed. I was like, oh god, I went the wrong way. I double checked, came back. I double checked again. Yeah, no, it's over here. It's just the island's not here for some reason. I've heard of this glitch before. It has happened. Uh, but yeah, here we've got King Kai. We also have the creator of the um, Dragon Ball Mod, who sadly passed away. And as a little thing to him, uh, his brother who took over uh, making the mod actually put him here chilling out with King Kai in his Minecraft skin that he had in his videos. So that was really nice. Uh, but yes, yeah, so that's uh, Jin's thingy there. But um, hi, King Kai. He is really, really good. I can learn various techniques from him, including Kaioken, including the Old God Ritual, and including... Wait, what? Oh. Oh. I don't have enough points. Oh, no, it's because I'm not maxed out yet. Yeah, you also learned Ultra Instinct and God Forms from him. I was wondering why they were blacked out for a second. because I've not mastered the things. You need to have maxed out your transformation art already, though, in order to learn them. And, uh, you have to also be good aligned and stuff. Um, but yeah, basically anything God-related or Kai-related and stuff, King Kai is the one that's going to teach you to you. So that actually, you're still... Then, speaking of other things, let's go over transformations now, because we've been waiting to try them for a little bit. So, right, now we'll go down to Hill, where all the... All the... Where are yous? I forget what these are. Uh, orcs or something, they are quite strong. They will absolutely destroy you if you try and mess with them uh, at the start of these series. Uh, but right, anyway, at the start of the series, at the start of your adventure. But right, anyway, transformations. As it stands right now, we have got our transformation art. You start with this, every uh, race starts with this, and different races have different things. Uh, humans and the Mechians don't have anything too interesting. They can get buffer, Mechians come bigger. Cool. Our Colosseans and Super Saiyans and stuff, though, they are very different. So for us, as a Saiyan, you click G, we can have power up. Also, the animations changed. There's little rocks fly up as we did. So here we've just gone Super Saiyan. Now we're going to go and send beyond that to Ascended Saiyan. And then we're going to go beyond that to Ultra Ascended Saiyan. <laughs> Trunks Super Form, essentially. We're pretty buffed now. Um, but let's say we don't want to do that. Uh, if we go over here, you can actually enable Kaioken and Potential Niche. Potential Niche, by the way, if you use that, uh, essentially is just... It's Gohan Mystic Form, essentially. It's just a plain transformation. It... Picture your hair up in it as if you're transformed, but it just it's just a pure power up. Uh, as you can see, our power has like jumped way up. If I actually, I was gonna say I'll set my stats, but you know, bleh. Uh, it's a powerful form anyway. There we go. So setting my stats again. Uh, oh, uh, no, Ultra Instinct. Uh, Mystic form gets my stats from 100 to 150. So there's a 2.5 multiplier on that. Badoosh. If we click eight, we'll transform down. Uh, and if we uh, disable it, it goes Super Saiyan again, which feels slower than before. What the hell? It's because it's in that form again. Why are you in that form again? There we go. Right, so it just turns off in its own after you do it. Right, anyway. Uh, moving on from there. Well, then, uh, Super Saiyan gives you 100 to 120 thingy. That stuff. There's obviously Ultras, if we got to uh, just Ultra. Ascended Super Saiyan, aka Trunks buff. That's the max form of this variation. I guess it's up to 159. So it's strong, but not quite up to mystic level. Obviously, we don't want grade 2 Super Saiyan anymore. We want to go Super Saiyan 2. So now transforming into that, we go Super Saiyan. This is full power Super Saiyan. I guess you're under 29 again. Cool. Go beyond that. Super Saiyan 2, which if we keep our aura going, we'll have a staticky thing going around it. Nice. And that gets us up to 200. Then going even further beyond that. Super Saiyan 3, which, yeah, it's Super Saiyan 3, look. But your aura starts going mental again, and your stats go to 250, so Mystic, Super Saiyan 3, roughly about the same. Cool. But, let's say we don't want to go any of those forms. Let's say we want to go something else altogether. Why is my... There we go. Let's say we want to go something a bit more interesting for us Super Saiyans. Let's launch a power ball in there. That'll create a folks moon. Now if we charge... Is this not going to work in Afterlife? I don't think this is going to work in Afterlife. Okay, speaking of Yama and reviving, we end up back at the lookout. Cool. Now we're going to launch a power ball in there. That'll create a false moon, as it's done now. Now, if we power up. Why are you not working? <laughs> God damn it, game. Da -ba! I don't know why that's not working. Typically, it's meant to act as a false moon. For some reason, power ball's not wanting to do that for me right now. But that's fine. We'll get a real moon then. There we go. So now... We've got the thing, we look up, we don't even have to power up, it does it itself. And we transform into a giant red monkey. Why are we a giant red monkey? It's because we made our tail red. So typically the, the monkey, will, or the Ozaru, will uh, be thingy. It will be um brown. 
But if you're a half sane and you pick a color for your tail, you end up wherever that color is, which in this case is red. But anyway, now that we're in Uzuru, we also want to go beyond that. We want to go to become a super Uzuru. Oh yeah, by the way, the Uzuru stats gets us up by like 10%, so it's nothing, it's nothing insane. Uh, this just, this is a little power up. But anyway, so going beyond that, Badush, we're now a super Uzuru, which gets us up to 29, the same as uh, full power super sane. Alright, let's go beyond that though. Super Saiyajin 4. Oh, much nicer. Super Saiyan 4 gives you a furry chest. Because that's that's what happens. That's why I make my character naked, though, is because then the fur actually makes sense. Otherwise, it'll layer over your clothes. <laughs> but yeah, Super Saiyan 4. Uh, it's 159. So it's more powerful than... Uh, which we call it? Thinking of Jeek. It's more powerful than, obviously, Super Saiyan uh, 3 and uh, Mystic. But not by much. Only by a little bit. We can change that in the configs, if you like. Also, now that we've reached that form, we can go back there whenever we want. So, like, yeah, ignore, ignore that for a second. Super Saiyan 4. So now we can just, we don't have to, like, you know, do those zooms in every single time. We can just jump straight to Super Saiyan 4 if we fancy it. Anyway, going from there, though, yeah, great, the grade 2, Super Saiyan. God form. We got that from King Kai. You need to have a, a you need to be good, obviously, to speak King Kai. You need uh, 50,000 points, and you need to have maxed out your uh, transformation skill, which got up to level 7. Uh, level 7 is what unlocks Super Saiyan 4 as well. So, there's that. Anyway, God form. Badush. We're now a god. We get skinnier and, yeah, as you can see, we get god particles and stuff. It's really cool. They, they put more particles into the transformation. It looks really nice. So, yeah. But anyway, let's say we want to go even further god from, though. Let's power it up even more, then. Let's increase god skill to level 2. Now, we can transform to Super Saiyajin Blue, which also is a fancy aura. And the weird sparkly bubble bits things there. Let's say we want to take that even further, though. Because this is a newer thing, which is one of the other things I did a review for. God for Max, Super Saiyan Blue, Evolution, or whatever the hell it's called. It has a name. It's it's basically Vegeta's buff Super Saiyan Blue, dark blue thing. It looks really cool. I like it. It's it's really nice. It makes our hair go absolutely mental like Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> also, you can keep the little particle effect things, which is interesting because we've obviously got our aura up. But also, let's say we want to take this into a different variation. There's another command, and here it is. Uh, slash J-R-M-C-S-E. Is set fix. This is how you can also set your legendary form. You can set margin. You can set fusion, f uh, fatigue and stuff. And god power. We're going to set divine. Got it. I, I forgot I put set at the start. Yeah. So slash set divine one or whatever. Uh, by doing that, we've now entered Super Saiyan Rose. A.K.A. do the Goku Black thing. Because that was the power of Akai mixed in with the thingy. So now we get the power of a god mixed with the Super Saiyan. Mixed with a more god... Kai stuff, and you get a Super Saiyan Rosie. Nice. That's a kill farm. Also, though, using that same command. Legendary one. So we had that at the start. Uh, basically, it lets you go Super Saiyan, uh, well, legendary Super Saiyan. So going regular Super Saiyan and transforming, we have a lot of things in our bar right now. You go to the legendary Super Saiyan farm. That basically takes normal Super Saiyan, but gives it another oomph. So rather than going to 129, it was like 154. And that applies onto most things. It doesn't apply onto God form. Or in this case, Rosé. Uh, or just God again. Uh, but yeah, if we're going to go to Super Saiyan 4, I'm pretty sure it applies to that. Yeah, it applies to Super Saiyan 4. You don't get the green thing anymore, but your orange still goes green. And you still get the stat boost. So that's still really good. Next up, Human Forms. Human Forms, there's only like five levels to it, and it's not nearly as interesting. You've got Super Human Form. And buff, you, no, you don't even have that. You just have buffed or full release. That, that That's it. Like, you can go buffed or you can just have a regular power-up. Humans, not that interesting as far as power-ups go. You just, you get slightly stronger. It, it's a good power-up. It's better than Super Saiyan. But it's it's not all that interesting looking, is it? The Mechians are in the same boat. They've got five levels. Their levels, they consist of giant and full release. Full release being, yeah, just a general power-up again. Where you get slightly bigger. Giant being, um, thingy. If I power down first. Giant being where you become a literal giant like the Uzuru. Which isn't all that interesting for combat because it makes you a bigger and easier target. So, there's that. Now, Arcosians are a lot more interesting. They've got, obviously, very different variations of forms. Uh, they have six transformations. And the last one costs, like, 10,000. Now, Arcosians, you start your base form like this. A.K.A. Freeze base form. You can power down or revert if you want to. So, descend. That'll take you down like this, and that'll actually cut your stats way, way down. And then you can obviously, one, power up a bit. And then to uh, start powering up and go through your various ones, you get slightly taller. Corn form, alien form, base form. 
They ain't going even further. Hold on. Which, which fecking form I'm about to go into. <laughs> um, hopefully that form next. Can we go to masked form, please? We can. Right, so this is masked form. This is like killer's level, obviously. Then obviously, that's not all there is to freeze, is there? He's got another form, doesn't he? He's got his ultimate form. His shiny golden form. Yeah, it worked. So yeah, you get Golden Freezer. Golden Freezer is part of the natural evolution. It's not in the God Tree thing, surprisingly. You think it'd be the God thing? It's not. He, he gets this by regular transformation thing. It's the same level as Super Saiyan Thru uh, and um, Mystic and stuff. So it's below Super Saiyan 4 and it's technically below the gods and stuff like that. So there's that. But the aura looks really cool. So get that going for us. It just generally does look just really nice. So it's a, it's a, it's a cute little form. But anyway, that's it for all the regular transformation of and stuff, other than uh, two other ones you got from King Kai. Alright, so our last two skills, they should hopefully tie in quite nicely together. We've got Kaioken, which uh, goes up to 10 levels, uh, which I've just maxed out there. Uh, so Kaioken times 10. Kaioken hearts you as you use it, it powers you up, it can get pretty powerful. To activate it, you click over here to click enable, that's it now enabled. And yeah, then you just click to power up like you would Super Saiyan. Kaioken times 2. Times 10, but do you notice I'm getting strained as well? It's starting to hurt my body doing this. And by 10, times 10, you're at Super Saiyan level. Going beyond that, times 20, times 50, times 100. It maxed out, you're at 300. That's beyond Super Saiyan 3 level. That's pretty strong. Uh, Yeah, it, it's pretty it's pretty powerful, this thing. Um, Or it can be. It will start rapidly draining your health, though, which is a downside. Uh, And if you go Super Saiyan with it, you can pretty much just kiss your health goodbye. Uh, there's a config option to enable it so you can can go Kaioken Super Saiyan mode and Kaioken God mode. But yeah, if, if, even when you get that enabled, you still start losing health really quick. But it does buff your stats to an insane level. So that's pretty good, I guess. But anyway, our last skill does require us to be in base form, though. And it does require us to have very low health. Like, I think below 20% health or something. Something along those lines. So we started off with about 2,000. We want to get to around 400-ish. And that should be us there nicely. So now, if we disable Kaioken again, Ultra Instinct enables. And now if we start pairing up for that, and this takes a little while. But there we go. Ultra Instinct, level requirement 198. Wait, did that not just work? I'm at that level. Did I not get, I didn't attain it. There we go, this time I got it. All right, so basically I said to increase my level even more. But Ultra Instinct, the final form, I uh, had to increase my overall level and stat and stuff. It gives you a big stat boost because my stats are... I can't show how big it is. <laughs> but it's stronger than all the previous forms, essentially. And it makes it so you dodge things. Uh, but basically, to attain this form, I essentially went Super Kyle Ken, uh, Super Saiyan plus Kyle Ken. That drained my health down to 1 because it destroys your body. And then, yeah, literally, I just uh, went and uh, tried to uh, uh, Ultra Instinct again. I think you've got to have a level, like, I think it's over, like, 200 something. You can adjust this in the config again and adjust it so you can have, like, uh, Ultra Instinct whenever and stuff. But, uh, yeah, basically, this is kind of the peak form you want to go for. It's half a million points off King Kai, and you need to have your body basically crippled and broken before you can enable it. But, in turn, being in danger of base form and fighting and stuff, you can then attain the ultimate form, which looks really, really lovely. And makes you really strong. So, there's that. Plus, if people try to punch you, you have to attempt to dodge them automatically. I think it's like a 70% dodge rate. So, one in uh, 7 out of 10 of the punches will literally not do any damage to you. <laughs> it's pretty insane, this form. Obviously, it's tricky to uh, use it. So, there's that. And it's, it's got its own wrist attached to it. But, yeah, that's pretty much it, though, for this mod. Uh, that's all the farms, all the different species, all the races, all different blocks, outfits, dimensions, places. There's a lot. This is all going to be a long video. I apologize, but it's a big mod. It's got so many cool things in it. I want to show stuff off and give a bit of detail of some things rather than just, you know, brief as going. I'd like if people look to this and they can actually, you know, get something from it rather than, oh, hey, I set all my stats to, you know, this level and they don't show the command. Well, here, I've just showed you the command how to set your stats. I've showed you command to do a couple of other different things. Some of the more main, main things that you might want. Along with some of the commands in general. Hopefully I've just shown you some stuff anyway and how to do things. But yeah, anyway people though, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. Link will be down below if you want to check the mod out and download it and try it yourself. It's a really, really good mod. Most of you have probably tried it before. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd do this just because it was my first video. We're going into a new decade. I fancied reviewing it again. And this has been fun. I enjoy looking at Dragon Block. It's cool seeing some of the new little changes since uh, James Brower took over. He's been doing a cool job of, you know, continuing on the mod. Uh, with the different uh, things he's added in. 
Uh, the, yeah, the different textures and work he's done, it's been really cool so far. So, I do enjoy these little updates that he's done so far. But, right, anyway, though, people, thank you all very much for watching. See you all next time for whatever Minecraft mod you end up doing next. Probably some type of anime mod. But, yeah, see you then for that. Thank you all for watching. Go bye, everybody. Da, 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 da. Also, just want to say a quick thank you to all of our channel members and a special thank you and shout out to our ongoing Ombu member, Kel De Young. And our now joining uh, member, uh, Matthew LK. Hopefully I said that right. So yeah, thank you both for the awesome extra support. Bye-bye.